हरे कृष्णा अर्जुना इज ग्लोरीफाइंग अर्जुना इज ऑफरिंग प्रेयर्स टू होम टू द विश्व रूप हुज दर्शन इज टेकिंग ऑन द बैटल फील्ड ऑफ कुरुक्षेत्र सिटिंग ऑन द चैरियट एंड हु इज दिस यूनिवर्सल फॉर्म लॉर्ड श्री कृष्णा हिमसेल्फ एंड अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑल दिस अर्जुना इज ऑफरिंग प्रेयर्स सो वी हैव सीन टू वर्सेस नाउ लेट्स सी द थर्ड वन श्लोका नंबर थर्टी एट आदिदेव पुषा पुराण विश्व परम निधान वेत्ता वेद्यम च परम च धाम तम विश्वनूप हियर इट सेड आदिदेव यू आर द ओरिजिनल पर्सनालिटी ऑफ गॉड हेड Arjuna is pointing and he's saying, "You are the original personality of Godhead, and Purusha Purana, you are the oldest personality." And then he says that Tvam Asya Vishvasya, you are the resting place of the entire creation, and Param Nidhanam. So yeah, Tvam Asya Vishvasya Param Nidhanam. So you are the resting place of the entire creation. and then he says vetasi vedyam cha you are knower of everything and you are to be known and he says param cha dhama you are the supreme abode supreme refuge beyond the three modes of material nature and he says tvaya tatam vishvam ananta roopam ananta roopam o limitless form o unlimited one tvaya tatam vishvam the entire cosmic manifestation the entire world is maintained is pervaded by you so again a very very wonderful shloka in fact each shloka which arjuna is actually speaking we can go on discussing for hours together because there is so much in it to discuss but don't worry this video will be short everything is resting on supreme personality of godhead therefore he is the ultimate rest nidhanam means everything even brahman effulgence rests on supreme personality of godhead krishna so there is a very important thing to understand that krishna is the eternal resting place of everything as krishna himself says matta parataram nanya kenchid asti dhananjaya mai sarvam idam protam sutre mani gana eva so krishna says this in bhagavad gita 7 chapter that I am like an invisible thread, and the entire world rests on me like the pearls are strung in the thread. So this entire creation that we see, if it is there, it is live, it is working, it is maintained. It's only because of Krishna. Everything is resting on Krishna. This is what we need to understand. A very very important point. Everything is resting on Krishna. Here, this word is very nice, which is mentioned here. purusha purana that oh you are the oldest personality oldest personality who is always young this is krishna's definition or krishna's feature very nicely you know it is described in brahma samhita nava yauvanam cha so the lord is nava yauvana you know he any time any time we take darshan of the lord be it in vrindavan doing various past times or be it on the battlefield of kurukshetra he appears like a person who is just entering the youth as beautiful as uh, cheerful and as glorious as a person who is just entering into his youth that's how that's how krishna's wonderful form is and this is his eternal form unchangeable he never changes himself he is always there in his eternal form as nava yauvana and then it is said here that even brahman effulgence rests on krishna so this is very clear what is brahman effulgence the light coming from the body of the lord that is brahman effulgence so who is the source lord is the source krishna is the source so when the light is coming from the body of the lord then who is supreme the lord is supreme because he is the source of brahman brahman is always secondary to the supreme personality of godhead or subordinate to the supreme personality of godhead but somehow you know by uh, lord's own arrangement many many people are bewildered and they think 
that the light the effulgence is supreme than krishna so we have to worship krishna so that we can attain brahman that's what you know, pe- many people the misconception is there for many people but here it's very clear who is the resting place who is the source of brahman it is lord krishna krishna is supreme he is the supreme one he is the goal of everything he is the knower of everything that is happening in this world and if knowledge has any end he is the end of all knowledge therefore he is the known and the knowable so again this is the glory of krishna he knows everything why will he not know everything he is there in each and every atom why will he not know everything he knows what is happening we might think that no one is seeing me when i am doing this particular activity alone but then the fact is krishna knows everything in fact secret of the secrets that we have in our heart which we don't disclose to anyone krishna is laughing and he says i know <laughs> i know what you have in your heart i know the secret we cannot hide anything from krishna he knows everything he is trikala darshi he knows the past of each and every person and, and things of this world he knows the present fully and he knows the future also completely this is how great lord shri krishna is arjuna had this question right in fourth chapter when krishna said i gave this knowledge to sun god vivaswan arjuna is like hey we both are friends we are contemporaries how can you say that and krishna is like you forgot but why will i forget i am supreme personality of god i remember everything we both have we both have appeared many many times but you don't remember i remember why krishna remembers because he is supreme personality of god he is that original personality he is that personality who knows everything and another very important thing if anything to be known in this world then who is that krishna himself says in bhagavad gita 1515 vedesh sarve rahameva vedya krishna is saying in all in everything that is existing vedic literatures and everything who is supposed to be known i am supposed to be known krishna is saying why krishna is saying like this why we should know krishna we can know any other personality with there so many things to explore in this world why we should know only krishna because anyone who knows krishna that person can break the cycle of birth and death so krishna very mercifully is saying if anything that is to be known in this world it's only me and he makes it very explicit again fourth chapter where he says janma karma ch me divyam evam yo veti tatvatah tyaktva deham punar janma naiti ma meti so arjuna so he's saying that anyone who understands my transcendental appearance and activities such a person who knows me once breaking the cycle of birth and death going back home back to god and he never returns to this mortal world again so who who is supposed to be known krishna whose names are supposed to be chanted krishna's holy names hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare if we are not chanting these holy names it means we are in complete illusion we are completely in maya that's what it means so it's very very important to chant krishna's holy names associate with krishna every single day hear about krishna's glories get more and more faith in lord shri krishna and get that eagerness to know more and more about krishna and keep chanting the holy names hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare and finally he is the he is the object of knowledge because he is all pervading because he is the cause in the spiritual world he is transcendental he is also the chief personality in the transcendental world so here it is said param dhama he is the supreme abode he is the spiritual world because by his superior energy by his antaranga shakti by his ladini potency the spiritual world is maintained so who is who is the spiritual world krishna himself because his energy is maintaining the spiritual world so it's very very important to aspire to go back home back to god at this very lifetime very very important why because we're separated we're separated from the spiritual world and we're trying trying to be happy in this world how can we be happy because we're spiritual entities and this world is material incompatible hai baba incompatible it cannot happen that a spiritual entity becomes happy in the material world no a spiritual entity can be remain happy and satisfied only in spiritual world somehow or the other unfortunately we have fallen down from the spiritual world and we are struggling here in this material world so only thing the only goal of the human form of life is 
to go back to spiritual world and stay with our spiritual personality lord shri krishna and serve him for his pleasure so this is the goal there is no other goal of human form of life human beings have been given higher intelligence just to understand krishna's glory is what arjuna is describing here and when we understand that when we have faith in krishna when we start chanting the holy names with complete faith and devotion and when we give this life for krishna's service we go back home back to godhead so in this way arjuna wholeheartedly is glorifying krishna with with many many mouths because the one who is one whom he is glorifying is you you are unlimited and so he uses the word again and again you are unlimited you are all pervading you are unlimited you are all pervading let's continue let's continue to experience arjuna's ecstasies which he is expressing in these wonderful prayers in the next video hare krishna hare krishna